When do you read or need poetry? When you give birth, when someone dies, when you fall in love after seven years of marriage. You should read poetry more often. You should read more poetry. There's an awful lot of beautiful poetry. I know more beautiful poetry than I know people I could fall in love with. I could read you poetry, beautiful poetry, for 25 minutes and 8 days about topics other than birth, death and love. Take a deep breath, shake my head, sip of some wine and read for another six days and nine hours. After the wine, I'd probably do some love poems. I know some pretty good love poems by heart. I know some pretty good breakup poems too. It might be true what the whiskeys say. Every poem is a love poem. Although a poet seldom has a driver's license. Imagine a poet who writes a poem about cars. In one way or another, this poet loves cars. Even if he, at the end of his poem, lets the car end up at a crash barrier. This poem he didn't write merely for himself, nor for a bunch of fellow poets. A poet doesn't want to share his love for poetry only with other poets. A poet is not unworldly. He has to love a lot of things to write his poems. A poet can love cars, crash barriers, crash test dummies. A poet surely loves a good glass of wine. A poet definitely loves you reading poetry. Start to read poetry. Reading poetry helps you to see all these boring, everyday things with a refreshed look. Read poetry and you will find solutions for problems you thought you didn't have. Don't go to a shrink. Poetry should be your daily pep talk. For your own sake, read poetry. After a while, you will recognize poetry in a traffic jam. After a while, you will recognize poetry in a bad hangover. After a while, you will recognize poetry in divorce and have a good laugh at it. If you keep refusing to read poetry, please don't wait to fall in love until you're married for seven years. Cheers.